Hey guys, it's Jordan Hetrick and I have a great tip for you today on how you can share high quality videos from phone to phone without losing all that quality. So say you're out filming with your friends and you're out mountain biking or skiing or snorkeling and you capture some great footage of your friend. When you get home, you're going to want to share that footage with your friend so they have a copy of it too and they can share with their friends. So usually you'd bring it into your phone, adjust the colors, trim it up, fine tune it and get that clip ready to go. So then you save the video to your file and when you watch it on your phone, it looks great. Quality's crisp, everything looks right because you did it right. Then most people just open up their text messages, attach it to a text and send it over to their friend. But when your friend opens up that video, it's not going to look like what you saw. A lot of people don't know that when you share your videos through a text, that video gets compressed and ends up looking really bad by the time it gets over to your friend. It loses a lot of detail. So I want to show you guys some tips on how you can get those high quality video files over to your friends and keep them looking like the way that you're seeing them. So if your friend's still next to you, the easiest way, of course, is to just transfer from phone to phone using AirDrop or Nearby Share. But if you've already parted ways with your friends and you're back home, you're editing the footage on your phone and you want to share it, there's some other ways you can share these videos and keep them at high quality. Just real quickly, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell button to stay tuned for more tutorials on my channel. And check out the links in the description below for my GoPro courses and books that are very helpful. Now let's check out the best ways to text over those high quality videos. The best option for sharing those videos over to your friend is to use a drive like Google Drive or Dropbox or to use a website that transfers files such as WeTransfer. All of these kind of operate the same in that you upload your file, it's going to save that full resolution file to your drive and then your friend will get a link to download it. I'm going to show you how to do it in Google Drive since that's the most popular. After you finish editing your video clip, you've got the colors right and you've got the file that you want to send over to your friend. Whichever editor you're using, just make sure that you save a high quality video file to your photo library on your phone. After the video is saved into your photo library, just open up Google Drive by tapping on the Google Drive app or going to the web browser for Google Drive. Once you get into your Google Drive account, just tap on the upload and you can upload that video file to your Google Drive. It might take a few minutes for that video to upload depending on the file size of that video. But once the video is uploaded, tap on these three little dots here and go to Manage Contacts and Links. And just make sure that you change this so that anyone with a link can download the file. And that's going to allow your friend to download the file when they get the link. And then go back into those three little dots and tap on Copy Link. And then you can just go into a text message, paste that in there, and text it over to your friend. Once your friend taps on that link to go to your Google Drive file, they can just tap on these three little dots here in the top right corner and select send a copy. And that's going to allow them to save the video to the photo library on their phone. And now they've got a high quality version on their phone. And they've got the same video file that you have on your phone. So it's going to look great. If your Google Drive account, for example, ends up filling up, you can always delete those files after your friends received it. So WeTransfer is another great option because you don't actually have to log into any accounts to transfer those files. You just go to their website, upload the file, and your friend will get a link to download that file. So that's another easy way to transfer those files without them getting compressed by using text messages. Another way to share your videos, of course, is to just upload it to a video sharing site such as YouTube or Vimeo, and then you can just send a link to your friends so they can watch it. But when I'm sharing the file directly, I'd rather use one of those services like Google Drive that just actually gives them the file straight onto their phone. A third option is if you're a GoPro subscriber and you're editing your videos in the GoPro Quick app, is you can edit your videos, make your edits, make it look nice, and then save it to GoPro's cloud storage. Once it's on there, you can just get a share link that you can text over to your friend. Your friend can follow that link and go download that video. And those videos on there are also uncompressed, so they're gonna be nice quality. So let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison just so you can see how this compression affects your videos so you can see the importance of how you transfer these videos over to your friend. So the video on the left here was shared just by attaching it to text messages, and that video was compressed. The video on the right here was uploaded to Google Drive and then shared via a link and downloaded onto my friend's phone that way. So you'll see side by side, the one that was compressed using text messages loses a lot of the detail and just doesn't have the same quality as that video footage that you see on the right there. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have fun GoProing.